Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be walking you through my everyday makeup routine or like my current everyday makeup routine. And I'm just gonna pretend I'm in one of those Vogue Beauty Secrets videos. I don't know if you've seen them going around YouTube. They have people come on and share their beauty secrets and like their current beauty routines and stuff. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm just going to be walking you through my current makeup routine. I like shoved everything in here. I already washed my face. I use this cleanser the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. And I didn't put any moisturizer on so I could put moisturizer on with you guys and share my first beauty secret, which you guys actually taught me. I was like complaining in a vlog about how my skin was so dry, like so visibly flaky and dry and just not good. Wetting my face a little bit before I put on my moisturizer has literally changed everything for me and has saved my life. So I just like take some water and put it on my face. I know they have spray bottles of water for this and stuff. You can buy it at Sephora, but I just don't want to buy a spray bottle of water. Then I'm just going to use this Ultra First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, and I can't tell if I like this or not. I, I think it works fine, but I think I like it better for like a body lotion than I do for my face, but I'm just trying to use up this tub before I get another moisturizer. I usually just throw on like whatever chapstick I can find. So just like a Burt's Bees chapstick, coconut scented. So the next skincare item that I use is a sunscreen. So I have been using the Super Goop Glow Screen and I really like this product because I feel like I don't wear as much base makeup when I wear this product because I just, it makes your skin look so nice. It just makes your skin really glowy and lovely. I feel like whenever I touch my neck or just rub lotion anywhere on my body, it gets super red. So if you see my neck gets so red, that's why. See, there it goes. I, my skin is just so sensitive, I guess. Okay, so next I am going to curl my eyelashes. And I don't know why I do it now, but I usually do it before I start my makeup. So this is the Kevin Acorn Eyelash Curler. And sometimes my eyelashes are like a little wet from washing my face and it, they actually don't curl. So I do not know why I do it now, but this is where I would stop if I'm not wearing makeup for the day after I curl my lashes. Just I brush out my brows and be good to go. But today I'm going to show you a quick little makeup look that I've been doing recently for, I guess, the beginning of summer. So first I'm going to take this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And this isn't really gonna brighten up my under eyes, even though I'm pretty sure that's what it's meant for, but I'm gonna use it more as just like a foundation-y product. So kind of just gonna put it on my cheeks and my chin, my like mustache area, and a little bit up here. Oh shoot, I didn't wet my beauty blender. Make sure to Make sure to wet your sponge too. I'm not liking the way my hair is looking, so I'm gonna try to put this up in a clip, or honestly, I could just leave it down. So I do want some under eye brightness, so I'm going to use, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, love this. Gonna do a little bit to kind of brighten things up, and I might do some right here. Sorry, I feel like I don't have that many beauty secrets to share because I feel like if I did have them, I would have already shared them on my YouTube channel by now, but maybe a few will pop up as I film this video. So that's kind of it for the base. So next I'm going to use this Kosas bronzer in the shade Light and this Real Techniques brush. My sponge, which has fallen on the floor, I need to throw that out anyway, it's kind of old, um, is from Real Techniques as well, but this brush I found at TJ Marshalls. Marshalls. And I just take it and kind of try to bronze everything up. And I'll even just kind of like run it over my eyelids as well. And then with the same brush, I take my blush and I've been loving this e.l.f. blush in Blushing Rose. And this is so pigmented. So I literally, literally, so I literally will just go like in it once or twice and then put on some blush. You guys see like I accidentally put on way too much and I only tapped in it twice. Also, I use the same brush. I don't know if that's like a beauty secret or not. I think it like combines the products better, but I don't know if that's true or not. Okay, so I kind of just used some of this Maybelline Fit Me powder 
and tried to make the blush not so harsh. It's so easy to go overboard with that blush, but I love the color so much. So next I'm going to move on to the eyes and this has been my signature eye look recently. I do this with so many different palettes, but I love this Natasha Denona mini nude palette. It just has like a few shimmer shades and some mattes. Also these brushes are from BH Cosmetics. Just take any like light brown or any like brown colors, kind of an orangey brown, and just put it all over your crease. I used to use this palette like only in the fall because I thought it was just like a really fall warm eyeshadow palette, but recently I've been loving it for more summery, like bronzy looks. Um, I'm gonna use this shimmer right here, the lightest one. It's in the shade Lumino, and I'm just gonna pack that all over my eyelid. It just looks really pretty. And I can do this in like five minutes or less. I've gotten really quick at it. And I do this with so many different palettes. Like I said, I just do the same eye look over and over again with similar shades. And then I take the brush again and blend that out. And then what I do is I take more of a small like pencil brush and I will dip into the matte brown shade that I put in the crease, which is Sienna and kind of run that on my lower lash line. A little bit, not too much. I feel like when you have shadow on your lower lash line, well one, it ties everything together, but two, it just makes it look like you spent a lot more time than you actually did. It's like, oh shoot, she has shadow on her lower lash line, you know? Like she took time with her eyeshadow, but in reality, it takes you like two seconds. Okay, so here is what really, I think, makes it look good and ties everything together. So I'm gonna take this darkest shade in the palette, which is Soil. Interesting shade name, Soil. Do you see how thick this like, even though it's kind of a smaller brush, it's still pretty thick. So what I'm gonna do is just like, do a little line on the outer part of my eye. And I like kind of wing it out, but not really. I don't know if you can see. Just like messily put shadow here just so it's darker. And then I'll just take whatever's left and like kind of run it under my lash line. And that is the eye look that I've been doing basically every day or like when I wear makeup. And it's okay if it's not perfect because I feel like mascara hides everything. So just kind of get the color there, deepen it up, and you're, you're good to go. I am sweating in here. It'll, it'll do, you know? So next in my routine, I guess would be my brows and mascara. So let's do brows first. I have been loving this M Cosmetics brow cream in the shade Universal Taupe. This just gives your brows such a fluffiness and makes them a little bit darker. Just pop some on like that. Okay, and I like the fluffy brow look, but also I like them Kind of neat and defined at the same time. I don't know how you can achieve both of those things, but that's what I strive for. Next is mascara, and I've been absolutely loving the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I think this is amazing for the price. I think I paid like three dollars for this, and it makes your lashes so long. So I'm just gonna put this on my top lashes. Probably not my bottom lashes because it tends to get like clumpy and a little bit dramatic, so I'm just gonna do the top ones. See how it kind of just lengthens and separates really nicely? All right guys, we are almost done. So I'm not gonna clean this up yet, but once it dries, I'm going to clean it up with a Q-tip because I can't put on mascara without getting it all over my eyelids. So I do need an inner corner highlight though. So I'm going to use this ColourPop Flexitarian uh, Super Shock Cheek and just use my pinky, kind of just brighten up the inner corners a little bit. And I'm not gonna put it on my cheeks because I feel like the sunscreen did a pretty good job glowing everything up. And it's so hot and I just sweat and look sweaty, honestly, throughout the day. So I just don't wanna add any more highlight on my cheekbones. Maybe I'll do some on my nose though. And then my cupid's bow. And then I guess we can take the hair down because we're basically done. Probably should have done my hair today for this video, but we'll just like tuck it behind my ears and pretend like 
it's done. So now I'm gonna clean this up with a little Q-tip. And to finish everything off, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Cheeky. I think this is so fun for the summertime, um, just to have that like pop of red. And just the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balms are phenomenal. And there you have it, that's my summer look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry I didn't have that many beauty secrets to share, but you know, hopefully you learned a thing or two or you learned about some new products or something. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.